Well, hello. Anywhere you are in the world, I hope you enjoy these makeup tips and tricks. But ultimately, my goal is just one little thing that you can add to what you do, make you feel better, just make you feel more empowered. That's what it's all about. So, you know, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time just talking about ingredients. I do great ingredients. We're manufacturing wonderful countries like Italy and France and the United States around the world and Korea and Japan now. But ultimately, I'm just gonna show you the step-by-steps. My first in preparing the skin and preparing the face is to really just amp up the hydration. And by amplifying up the hydration, I'm using the Hyaluronic Mist Spritzer just all over the face. And don't be afraid, just, just take a moment to absorb it, take a moment for the skin to love it, and just wait. Go and maybe make yourself a cup of coffee. That's step one. Step two, I'm using the Super, I call it the Super Serum, the Napoleon Complex um, Serum, and I just love it because of the tripeptide tobacco. As I said, I'm not gonna keep going on about the ingredients, but I love how it's got a little ampule right there, um, which allows for you to kind of just do jot, 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 jot. You're not overusing it, because um, that can get expensive, because this is made in Switzerland, but you just are making sure that you just put it in the right place. I'm gonna use a fan brush to really just work that into the skin and make sure that you get into all areas, use as much as possible, really light motions. And I'm actually working in the direction of the sort of fine hairline that exists on the face. And I really want you to kind of watch that so you're not aggravating the skin. Take it out, don't be afraid, into the neck as well. Um, really kind of just bring that hydration. It's like food for the skin actually, the serum. That's why it's such a good super serum. It not only prepares for makeup, but it just allows the skin to just amplify its expression, its kind of energy on its own. And that's the whole thing about me at the moment. I want the skin working on its own and I want to assist it working on its own. Many years in the making was the Supreme Eye Cream. I use it with a synthetic brush. Be careful to not use a natural brush because you might be allergic. Synthetic's easier. Of course you can always use your finger, but I prefer brushes because you just use less product and you're more precise. And I like to just tap, tap, tap along there. Let it sit for a moment. Take it all the way up. Eye doesn't finish just there. It goes all the way up in here and down into that top of that cheekbone area. As I let it sit for a minute, I'm gonna then start to like massage it in. And I massage it in little swirling motions that are just ever so soft, right into the bridge of the nose. And again, taking it right out and to the top of that cheekbone. I really wanna make sure that we're saying that the eye area can go all the way out and we're not limited to just in there. I don't put eye cream on the top of the eye because then that can run into your makeup and sometimes it can give you irritation or make the makeup move. Next, I do a little step that you might think that's a bit unusual, but I use our mask, the Radiance Boosting Mask with the 3D silicon elastomers and ton of vitamins and I just use this stippling brush, which I just love to just stipple and allow the mask to be working all day on the skin and perform it, because it will actually automatically contour, highlight, allow the skin to perform at its best. And a lot of people are like, why do you use the mask there? Well, I do use it overnight and I use it in the morning to kind of like refresh the skin after a long flight, uh, on a flight. But just using it at this stage allows me to kind of have that better amplification of the natural skin. And also it keeps that nourishment happening all day beyond just your moisturizer. I will use moisturizer and my autopilot primer. You're like, oh my God, that's a ton of product. You can actually use product as you feel fit, but I just wanna show you the best way that skin is amplified. Because my first steps when I do makeup it's mascara and brows. Sometimes when skin is perfect, in fact in most cases, I do very little else. And you can already see that skin just bouncing and getting ready and just kind of making sure that there's also got that foundation to hold that freshness all day. And I find that the mask really allows and complements that. Now this is great Korean technology. It's the multi-hydration gel cream. It kind of starts off like a bit of a solid, and as you work it, 
it actually becomes liquid and helps to absorb into the skin in nanoparticles even easier. So the benefits are instantly appreciated by the skin and then there's the long-term benefits as well. So I'm gonna use my fingers here, I've sterilized, and I'm just gonna really press and really work it in as fast as I can from the forehead right into here. And it'll, a, long, a little bit goes a long way to really just massage. Again, I wanna massage in the direction of the fine hairline that exists on the face so that we're forever bringing the face out in its best possible format. Now, as you can see, I've been moving quite quickly. So I'm going straight into the autopilot primer, not to prime, it's a crime. And I know that most of Australia understands that. I'm using a synthetic brush again. And this time I'm gonna start in this middle area here because I wanna have the maximum prime in this kind of area of the skin. And you know, and where the foundation is gonna have a better landing. So I'm just loving that and it just gives me that extra oomph that's required to make sure that the foundation's gonna sit nice or the skin's just gonna amplify and radiate on its own. Now, because we wanna really make sure the skin's turned on and turned on instantly, I have Turn On, which is essentially a balm moisturizer with lots of other ingredients, but I'm only gonna use it in the highlight areas because this is an, a natural invisible highlight that you can just do by applying without having to do all that extra makeup work. Because most women don't want to work, don't want to work and have a ton of makeup, or they don't want to go out and have a ton of makeup. They just want to look beautiful, and they want to look themselves, but just that much better. So the turn on is a great balm. It's a solid balm of moisture, but also a solid balm of boost for that invisible contour. You know, without having to worry about all the various makeup products. The Couture Brow Kit's one of my favorites. There's a light brow, a darker brow, and then there's the wax formula. There are tweezers and there's a spoolie and the brush in there as well. I, I'm gonna use the darker color and make sure that I don't have too much on, but I'm gonna start in the opposite direction of the hair and work in between the hairline and then just extend out a little bit. And then, I'm gonna come in from the inner corner and I'm gonna just create where I want that arch to be and give me that nice strength. Joining it in with the work that I've done on the end here and brushing between the hair, not over the hair, is going to be really important because I can just brush it back into place. I'm using an angle brush, it's called the Corrector G8. It's again a synthetic brush and really working on that. I'm gonna use the spoolie that's actually in the Couture Brow Kit. Brushing it back, giving it a nice comb, and then just seeing if it's just gonna sit for me the way that I want to. Just a nice definition to the face. Fabulous. Next step. Just curl both of the lashes, give it a nice press. Don't be afraid. Grab all the lashes in there and just keep giving it that nice curl. And then we're ready for the mascara. I'm gonna use Fat Volume. I love Fat Volume. And it's just got this great brush that's gonna do volume instantly. Now I always start in the middle of the lash. I wanna add all that volume right here and then I just bring it out slowly, 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 slowly. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do in the end to kind of like spread it out if I need to. I grab a brush, just look down for me, and I just separate that with having a brush that I can just come in and just further paint it and intensify that volume, you know, into the lashes and we, then I don't really need all that fake lash. I mean, we sell fake lashes and I'm happy for fake lashes to be worn, but in this instance, I just want this natural to just such a beautiful girl and clean, natural and fresh. And by the way, it doesn't matter what age you are, this technique applies. You may want it to be more concealer, you want to glamify it up a bit, that's fine. 
that the technique applies. It's just such a natural, you know, and just really brings out that eye. So just going right to that outer edge, both eyes. I'm going to the inner edge, both eyes, nice and strong. And remember, get that little paintbrush out, which is another acrylic brush of mine. The one that I love is the G12. And it just separates, it's just easy. It takes away any excess. It means that if you blink, you're not gonna have a ton of excess. And just gorgeous, it just really brings out the eye. Now, cause I'm feeling in a good mood, even though she's totally ready, and I'm wearing a bit of denim today. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna put on the Miss Jean, number eight, MJ8. It's a nice little lippy to just tint, that's all. No liners, no nothing, floating lip, just tint because she's basically ready. I wanted to show you, if you prepare the skin well, brows and mascara, little lippy, out and away you go, okay? And just look at yourself and just say, I'm beautiful. You don't need a cover. You just need an empowerment and to take the world and to kind of feel in control of your day. And that's it. And this is a great way of doing it. We frame the eyes, little touch up to the lips, we're done. Open for me. How divine is that? And there's hardly any makeup, but we've done a lot of skin preparation.